hello viewers and uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is respiratory acidosis uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel you know and uh, if you need more information about any disease any medical condition uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area so you can click that link to uh, visit the website now i come to the topic what is uh, respiratory acidosis you know you know respiratory acidosis is a condition and uh, in this condition it occurs when the lungs cannot move enough uh, of the carbon dioxide uh, which is produced by the body as a waste product you know and the excess uh, uh, carbon dioxide uh, causes the pH of the blood and the other uh, uh, body fluids to decrease, you know, and uh, uh, which uh, uh, makes them too acidic, you know. And normally the body is able to balance the ions that uh, control the acidity. And the balance is uh, measured on the pH scale, like... Uh, 0 to 4, so 0 to 14, you know. So acidosis occurs when the pH of the blood falls below 7.35, uh, uh, 7 you know. And the normal blood pH is between, uh, set from 7.35 to 7.45, you know. And if uh, falls below 7.35, it's uh, known as uh, acidosis, you know. So respiratory acidosis is typically caused by any underlying uh, disease or any underlying condition, you know. And this is also called as a respiratory failure or maybe uh, ventilatory failure, you know. Uh, normally, the lungs take in the oxygen and uh, they exhale the carbon dioxide. So what I mean that uh, it, uh, from the lungs, uh, the exchange of gases happens, you know, when the carbon dioxide is released, which is uh, uh, ex exhaled and uh, uh, carbon uh, oxygen is inhaled you know and the oxygen passes from the lungs into the blood and the carbon dioxide passes from the blood into the lungs you know and uh, sometimes the lungs cannot remove enough carbon dioxide and this may be due to a decrease in the respiratory rate or maybe decrease in the air movement due to any underlying cause such as maybe asthma maybe coronary constructive pulmonary disease or maybe uh, pneumonia or maybe sleep apnea you know now the next thing is what are the forms other types of the respiratory acidosis you know so there are two main types number one is acute respiratory acidosis and the chronic respiratory acidosis you know uh, in case of the acute one you know it occurs quickly and it's a medical emergency and if it's left untreated uh, symptoms will get progressively worse you know and it can become life-threatening you know, if it's left on trigger. And the third, the second one is like chronic respiratory acidosis, you know, which develops over the time, you know, and it does not cause any symptoms. Instead, the body adopts uh, to the increased uh, acidity, you know. And for example, the kidneys produce more bicarbonate to help to maintain the balance, you know. Now, the chronic respiratory acidosis uh, may not cause symptoms. And developing another illness may cause the chronic respiratory acidosis to uh, worsen, you know, and become acute uh, respiratory acidosis, uh, which can be an emergency, you know. But the next thing is, what are the symptoms? Well, the initial signs of the acute respiratory acidosis include headache, it may be anxiety, blurred vision, restlessness, confusion. And without treatment, the symptoms... Uh, uh, may get worse and they may include like the uh, fatigue or maybe lethargy or maybe like shortness of breath and maybe coma you know and the chronic form of the respiratory acidosis uh, does not typically cause any noticeable symptoms and the signs uh, are stable and they're non-specific and they may include like memory loss uh, maybe sleep disturbances and uh, personality changes you know now, what are the causes? Well, the lungs and the kidneys are the major organs that help to regulate your blood's uh, pH, you know. 
and in fact these both organs they clean the blood you know okay and the lungs remove uh, acid by uh, simply exhaling the carbon dioxide and the kidneys excrete the acid through the urine you know so those the, these both organs are very they are vital organs and they uh, work as the cleaning system you know a part of cleaning system you know and the kidneys are uh, also regulate your blood's uh, concentration of uh, bicarbonate which is a base you know and the respiratory acidosis is usually uh, caused by the lung disease or the condition that affects the normal breathing or the uh, the uh, impairs of the lungs ability to remove carbon dioxide you know and some common causes may include like asthma maybe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease maybe acute pneumonia you know uh, pulmonary edema sorry and maybe pneumonia maybe obesity you know and uh, 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 scoliosis you know and the some common causes of the acute form are like uh, uh, lung disorders like uh, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease emphysema maybe asthma and uh, pneumonia you know and the conditions that affects the rate of breathing you know and the muscle weakness that affects them like uh, breathing or the taking a deep breath you know and uh, like obstruction of the airways uh, due to choking and other cause you know and uh, sedation or sedative overdose you know and the cardiac arrest so these are the common um, uh, uh, causes in case of the acute uh, form of the or respiratory uh, acidosis you know I think the how do doctors diagnose? Well, the goal of the diagnostic test of the respiratory acidosis is uh, to look for the pH uh, imbalance, you know, and uh, to determine the severity of the imbalance and to determine the condition causing the imbalance, you know, there are several tools uh, that can be used, you know, as a, the diagnostic tools, you know, and that could be the blood gas measurement, you know, it could be electrolytes measurement, you know, lung function tests, chest x-rays, and uh, other blood tests you know so there are multiple tests which can be used to uh, diagnose this condition you know and uh, now once diagnosed then what are the treatment options well there are several treatment options like uh, in case of acute form you know uh, usually means that uh, uh, you need to address the underlying cause you know example is for your uh, airway may need to be cleared you know or this must be done as soon as possible and artificial ventilation may also be needed you know and uh, in case of chronic form you know if you have this form uh, your treatment will focus on managing the underlying conditions and uh, the goal is to improve the airways function you know and the, some strategies may include like uh, the antibiotics you know uh, to treat the infections maybe diuretics to reduce the excess fluid affecting the heart and the lungs you know corticosteroids to reduce the inflammation of the lungs and uh, bronchodilators just to expand the airways you know and the mechanical ventilation in severe cases you know which may be required you know well the respiratory acidosis uh, has many causes so it's difficult to uh, uh, to generalize about the long term outlook you know and well it depends on uh, the severity of the underlying condition you know so it cannot be predicted how will be the outlook you know um, but acute form of the respiratory acidosis can be fatal. It's a serious medical emergency. Uh, and be sure to seek the medical emergency uh, help as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, or share these videos to support this channel. Thank you. Everybody.